Hey guys, it's Ian again. I got another video today. This one was a request from Miss Dewey, so thank you very much for the request. You know, I'll kind of do what I think the staff needs, but if you guys have requests, that's a much better way for me to actually answer your very specific questions. So this one I was asked, how do we get the grades to pass back from Canvas to Skyward? And I thought I could jump ahead and show that video, but then I might be leaving behind people who are unfamiliar how to make assignments in Skyward in the first in Canvas in the first place. So I'm going to go through that process. This is going to be a bit longer video than normal. Um, what I'll do is I'll put in the description the time that you can fast forward to if you want to uh, if you want to get to the good stuff, so to speak. So. Um, we'll be very specific about where you need to go. You only have to watch the parts of this video that will make sense to you. So let's start off with a word from our sponsor. Zarling's Old Timey Vitamin C for when you don't want to feel like your colleagues. It's flu season. Don't forget to take your vitamin C. Zarling's Vitamin C, that old time vitamin C. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Starling. That was really good information. We all needed to hear that. I'm going to begin by opening up my browser. Remember, I like you to use Google Chrome, not Firefox. And you'll see I don't have anything open. I do have my Bethel logged into. Hopefully, you know how to do that already. Um, I like to do this in real time so that I'm not acting and skipping steps and acting like I know what the heck is going on. So from my Bethel, I'm going to, again, open up two things. Uh, I'm going to open up skyward I'm going to do that mainly because I want to check that I did everything else correctly in a minute okay so I've got skyward open up so I can check my grades later um, let's just go into teacher access this is going to be a fake one I'm going to delete everything after I show you guys how to do this because I um, am not ready to grade this assignment yet so it's that's not due. The students have a few more days um, to do it. And as you can see, uh, it's already been set up here, um, but the grades haven't been put in because I haven't passed them back, so to speak. So we'll see this um, thing that starts with Bernou, that's Bernou Lee's principal. We'll see that populate in, in just a few minutes. Uh, so one thing you want to check in Skyward, this is actually really important, is that you have categories and you know what they are. Formative assessment, summative assessment, all capitals, no plural at the end. Um, if you don't know how to do your grade categories, you come over here to add edit categories. This shows you all the categories that you could use. I have two categories, formative and summative assessment. Um, and that's, that's the way I choose. But the reason why I point this out is because your assignments in Canvas if they're going to pass back to Skyward, they have to match whatever categories you have here. Otherwise, Skyward won't know where to put them and they won't show up and you'll be giving yourself a hassle. So make sure that you understand what categories you have available. Okay, I told you this would start off with Canvas and said I started off with Skyward. So let's go into Canvas now. And I guess I've been signed out for a while, so they want me to sign in again. That's the wrong password. I'm under so much pressure. You can hear my voice is wavering and I'm nervous doing this video. Messing up passwords left and right. And now that we're here, uh, I'm going to show you how to make an assignment. And then I'm going to show you the assignment that I already had. And, and, and I'll actually pass the, that grade back to um, Skyward. So I'll go into Gateway to Technology, one of the classes that I currently teach. And right now we are in unit two, Skimmer Lab. We're almost done. You can see I've got lots of different things in this unit, um, some of which I've got unpublished because the students don't need them. But I need to make a new assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and hit plus. It defaulted to assignment because that's the last thing I make. And new assignment, and I'll just call this pretend. And I clicked add and there you go. It's going to come up to the bottom of whatever module you put it in. Now remember, I like the students to work in a module format where 
They only see the assignments that I want them to see when I'm ready for them to see them. I don't have a list of all the assignments. My assignments are usually summative and they're usually long. So it would be um, difficult if I use the assignments uh, tab here. I'd prefer them to go unit by unit what we're doing. We're just finishing unit two right now. So I'll go ahead and take a look at this. I'll publish it. Since it's pretend, it doesn't matter that it's not ready yet. I'll go ahead and publish it. And there's nothing there. So we want to edit the assignment. And then you can give it a nice fancy title. Uh, and right down here, if they're only going to be reading this in Canvas, you can keep the default font. But what I've found is since I am displaying this on the screen in my classroom, I want most students to be able to read it if they don't have their iPads or they're not following along on their iPads or I've told them not to take their iPads out yet. So I'm usually going to default to a 24, 36 point font um, and use bold. And, uh, you know, please. Uh, and then there's different types of assignments you can do. You can have them download a document, fill it a notability, and pass that in. You can have them answer in a text box. Uh, a discussion question actually counts as an assignment. It's the same thing as far as Skyward's concerned. So there's a bunch of different um, things you can do. I'm going to do a simple one um, here, and I'll show you a fancy one later. Please answer the following question using the rules of logic. What came first? Woo! Sorry. Or the egg. Write your answer in the text box. I'll just say the text box. Um, this is due in two days, or you could give them a date. And then if you want to, you could write a rubric or you could even have a rubric somewhere else and attach the rubric, say click here for the rubric, any way that you want to do it. Uh, I'm not going to go through all those because I've got an example to show you later. Uh, this is what they will see when they click on it. They won't see any of this other stuff. But you can then give this a grade. So for example, um, this is worth 50 points. How you do your, your grade, um, grade book and what things are worth is up to you. Assignment group. Remember I said this has to be formative assessment or summative assessment. These are the assignment groups that I must use. If I don't use one of these assignment groups, um, I'm losing out. So I'm going to go and I'll call this one a formative assessment since they're not actually doing a project where they're proving this. They're just writing their ideas about this. I like them to see their grades as letter grades. They have a grading scheme that's a, here and it goes from F to D minus to D to D plus, I don't use that at all. I have created my own grading scheme and I've got a scheme. I've got to figure out how to make it default to my scheme. I haven't done that yet, but uh, I can find it right here, Chow Miller scheme. <laughs> and this is much simpler for me if you can't see that. And I is less than 70%. So anything I put in 50, 60, 70, C is 70 to 80, B is 80 to 90, A is 90 to 100. At one time, Bethel School District was mandating an ABCI um, for middle schools. I don't know if they are anymore. I've always enjoyed it, appreciated the simplicity and the concept behind it. You didn't get it. You almost got it. You got it. You got it went beyond. I mean, it, it's so simple. So I'm going to use this grading standard. Boom, there it is. Done. So even if I put in an 80 or an 89, because I think the student did a little bit better, it'll show up as a B, nice and simple. Um, submission type, I said that they're going to uh, do it online, and there will be a text entry. So when the student sees this, there'll actually be a box that they'll write in. If I wanted, I could have them create a website and link to that, uh, or create a Google document and the Google document URL Uniform Resource Locator, otherwise known as web address, will be what they put in this box. A media recording, they would record right on their iPad right there. They'd either make a video or do a sound recording. 
or file upload, they could write it as a Word document um, and they could make a video and upload that. Just depends how you want it to go. Uh, group assignments, if it's a group assignment, you have to have your groups done ahead of time. So uh, that would require you to have already arranged the groups in Skyward. It takes a little bit more front-loaded time on your part, but the ease of that is then if I give a grade to Billy and Billy's partners with Susan and John and Phil, but Billy was the one who uploaded their video, as soon as I give the grade to Billy, it goes out to Susan, John, and Phil as well. Uh, peer reviews, I don't do that. This is the magic button right here. Sync to the school's I information system. There it is. I had no idea what SIS stood for. This is where it goes to your grade books. Okay. Um, and then uh, I don't do that. I have two classes, so I just it's assigned to every one of those two classes. I give it a due date. And then um, you'll, I always say it's available from the date I write it. And then I usually give them some time so that uh, if I want to accept late submissions, I can, or kids who redo theirs. But it will be marked that it was late if it's um, put in after the due date. And there it is. So that, that's basically how to do it. This one button here is the most important part for making sure that you get it passing back to Canvas. I'll click save. A horrible assignment. <laughs> I'd love to see what the kids write down for that though. Um, all right, let's go back now. Gateway to technology. Going to go into that large unit too and take a look at an assignment that I did. Actually, we're going to take a look at two assignments that, that I've, I've done. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with assignments, here is Tumblewing video. And it said, create a video about your Tumblewing glider. Use Clips or iMovie. The video should show you flying with several different attempts. A written or spoken explanation of how the glider works. It should have a title introduction. It should be less than one minute long. Um, and so this was a couple weeks ago. But if I go to Speed Grader, you know, it used to be that if you clicked on the student submission, so here's Garrett's. If you clicked here, it used to show up here, but now it doesn't. It downloads and you have to watch it. Um, so he's, he did a late one, so I didn't get it. I'm just trying to find a good one to show you. Let's look at period three. Evan Attaway. So Evan usually does good work here. So. As I download his video, it takes a few seconds down here. Once that blue circle stops, you can watch their videos. Well, so I thought that was a really good uh, good example, especially for the first project of the year. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, so I gave him, I think I gave him a 95, or actually I gave him a 100. And then I wrote down the uh, little comment here. So when he goes in the C's, he sees why he got a 100, why he got that good grade. If you want, you can also record um, your voice. Hey, Evan, you did a great job on your assignment. You not only showed yourself flying the tumblewing and improving, you gave a good explanation of how the tumblewing worked. And I'm going to delete that because it sounds repetitive. But uh, I, um, I actually don't like recording my voice and going to text. I find it, it, I talk really stilted when I do that. But it's an option. You can even click here. And if you're on your iPad, you can record a video of you explaining to the students uh, what they did. So it really gives you that time to speak to students and explain to them uh, what is going on. It's, it's actually a really good way of doing it. You can even attach a file if you think there's something they need that will help them. 
Okay, so that was looking at um, an existing assignment. Let me show you one more existing assignment, and this is the one that we're actually going to pass back, and then I'm going to delete because I'm not ready to pass it back yet. But due someday this week, I think in a couple days, uh, they had to do a discussion question. So even though the discussion has these little quote bubbles here, discussion question works as an assignment. This is the little symbol for assignment. Uh, the discussion question works the same as an assignment in terms of the behind the scenes. So this discussion question, the Bernoulli's principle discussion, let's open that up. And I give them a whole layout of the assignment here. I said to watch a demonstration that I did at the beginning of class. I had them read a definition of Bernoulli's principle. I wrote kind of a I don't want to say dumbed down, I wrote a simpler um, version of Bernoulli's Principle, I provided them with a video. I provided them with two more videos that showed the same experiments I did, uh, but, allowed them to, um, but allowed them to watch them on their own. And then I came down here and I actually asked them the question, how does Bernoulli Principle explain how your skimmer stays in the air? Use complete sentences and proper grammar, your answer should be at least a paragraph long. And I gave them a little rubric here so they could check that they're doing everything right. right. Again, ABCI, I keep my rubric simple, I keep my grading simple. That's my personal preference, not something you have to do. And then um, Shauna made a mistake, didn't write anything there, but we've got a few answers here. So uh, Braden says it explains that an aircraft, so he went on and he didn't mention the skimmer at all. Hector did a decent job here. Kellen says it is a force that causes things to fly. So he's really off the mark there. So again, I'm going to go back up here and where do I grade these? There should be, see, I told you I'm doing this real time. I didn't plan this out ahead of time. There's no speed grader for the assignment. So do I have to click on each one to grade? Let's try that. Click on Braden's. Nope, that just brings up information. How do you grade the discussion questions? I'm missing something, guys. Unread, do, 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 subscribe, do I have to, you are unsubscribe or notified of new comments? Don't subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time a student answers your question. Uh, I'm having a little bit of problems here, so I'm going to go up to grades, see if we can figure this out together. And I'm going to look up Bernoulli's principal discussion. What does that little arrow tell me? Go to speed grader. That's what I was looking before, and I didn't see it. Here we go. So now I can look at an Evan having an A in his name. Um, he says, when the skimmer goes fast enough because of Bernoulli's principle, the air pressure around the skimmer is less and more pressure builds up as it slows down. In conclusion, less pressure is more speed. He's almost got it. It's actually slower speed is greater pressure, faster speed. So let's see um, if he adjusts it and adds anything. Uh, when the air on the bottom goes through the air scoop and hits the flap in the back, it slows down, the air making more pressure. When the skimmer goes fast, the air on top is less pressure and the high pressure underneath lifts the skimmer. That's a pretty good one. So I'll go up here now to 50. I'll give them about 47 points. And I'll say, I'm glad you uh, wrote your second comment. It was quite, uh, it was an improvement. And uh, accurate. Right, we want to use terminology from the rubric to make sure that being good there, and then I'll submit that. And then let's come down here, and Christen hasn't done it yet, so we're going to give him a 25. Of course, nobody gives zeros because on our weighted scale, you know that's unfair, right? So we'll submit that, and it shows up as an I, and I'll say this assignment was due on Monday. Please see me for help. <laughs> and then I'm going to copy that one because I'll probably give this to like a thousand different 
uh, students. All right, so we'll submit that. We'll go on and see all these students that did it and all these students that didn't do it yet. Luckily, it's not due yet. So let's just check Kaya's. And the higher pressure in the bottom, low pressure in the top makes it fly. So C would be about a 35. And I'll say, uh, Kaya, this is a really good start, but there is more to it. Please discuss the um, discuss how speed affects it and how the skimmer is designed to um, designed to use airspeed. Boom. So let's pretend that's everything. It's clearly not. New least principal discussion again, and then I'm going to go over here and click on grades. So now here is the part where I'll show the actual steps for pass back for those of you who really just wanted this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to post grades, and I'll tell you, this gets annoying. I've got lots of assignments that you can't even see that are in here, um, but they... Skyward thinks or Canvas thinks I want to pass everything back, and I don't. Uh, someday I will go through and get rid of all of this and clean it up, but I'm really not there yet. Um, it's it's I don't know why all this stuff is keeps showing up. I don't have the proper answer for this. It's probably because I've been copying the same course every trimester, and it's including outdated stuff that doesn't get deleted. Uh, Right? Like I don't use tumbling clips, I use a different name for that assignment, but it's very similar. So I will exclude that. So all I've got left is Bernoulli Principal Discussion and Glue Gun Safety Quiz. I would love a button here to get rid of Glue Gun Safety Quiz. It's already been passed back. I did that earlier this week, I did that this weekend, that's over. I just want the new thing to go, but they don't actually have that option. So I'm just going to click continue and one of these will post for the first time, one of these will repost. Post grades, and then you play the waiting game. Success. After the grades are processed, you should see them in your SIS Student Information System gradebook. So we'll do that. We'll come over here. We'll click home. It, it usually happens pretty fast. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but let's just take a look at my gateway class. And does not look like any grades have shown up yet uh, for that class. Let's take a look at the next class. Okay, so it doesn't happen that fast. And we know that we gave Evan a grade for Bernoulli's principal discussion, so that should show up. I don't wanna make you wait for this video, but um, I, I know that that part works. Uh, if we were to go to home and then exit, and then try to log into Skyward again. Let's see if that works. If not, I'll end the video there because I don't want to take up any more of your precious time. I know you guys have a lot of things to do. Hopefully this was informative. That's me tapping nervously, hoping that the spinning circle will unspin soon. There, up. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And we'll go teacher access, we'll go to the grade book. We'll take a look at that second class. And Bernoulli's principal. So it only showed the grades because I didn't give all of these students grades. Um, so it's still showing an asterisk, right? Now, you'll notice in Canvas, I had them come in as, uh, as letter grades. They showed up as numbers here. I would have to actually change this assignment to grade mark, boom, back, and there we go. For Bernoulli's principle, we have A, I, C, and then all the ones that I didn't grade yet. So that's how it works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and 
I can keep that there. I'll just finish grading it and pass it back because it's it's not due yet. And I'll erase some of these. I'll check these grades, make sure I didn't <laughs> mess up any students. But that's it right there. Uh, you've got to make sure in Canvas that you click that SIS button. Once you grade everything, you then have to go into your grades and post and make sure that they're ready to post. And then they should pop over after a few minutes. Thank you very much, guys. I hope this was helpful.